Bradley, we need to talk. Your... your father, he... From that moment on, I knew my life was going to change. Hi, I'm Bradley Anderson, and I'm the proud founder of the comic book club at my high school. At first, it was kind of hard to find people interested in joining. Turns out, high schoolers aren't very enthusiastic when it comes to comics. But eventually, I did find a couple of people. What's with the costume? I'm Superman. And that's how I met Frank. He's a great guy. Hey Bradley, catch! Your father, he had these supernatural abilities. And I inherited his powers. I'm gonna be Superman and everybody is gonna love me. I'll have this bright blue suit with little fringes on the cuffs, but not too many, I don't want it to look tacky. And my picture will be in the newspaper. Seemingly average teenage boy saves the day. And they're gonna make a movie about me and James Bond will play my role. No, I'll play my own role. And I'm gonna pick up a truck and throw it. Bradley, you didn't inherit your father's abilities. So it turns out I'm not that special, but hey, maybe my mom's wrong. I mean, how would she know? All right, well, what abilities did your father have anyways? Well, my mom mentioned telekinesis, super strength, and speed. Sure, bro. Okay. I'm planning on announcing it at the meeting today. The comic book club meeting today? You can't be serious. You gotta make a fool out of yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I know it sounds a little unreal. No. Guys, I don't know him. Look, I don't know what I expected. A kid comes in claiming his dad was Superman. I mean, why does this matter so much anyways? Didn't your mom say that you didn't inherit anything? And your dad, well... What does it matter? My dad kept this from me my entire life. Also, we don't know I didn't inherit any of his powers. Maybe they just haven't kicked in yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have kicked in by now. Maybe they just haven't been triggered yet. You're a delusion. <sighs> Fine, if you're not gonna help me, then just leave me alone. Wait, 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 I never said I wouldn't help you. Because if you do end up having some sort of supernatural ability, I'd rather be on your good side. If not, at least it'll be fun to see you try. You sure this Kingsley kid is gonna be up to it? I mean, it's one thing that you got me on board because I'm doing this solely out of self-interest. But if he's as smart as you claim he is, I doubt he'll be stupid enough to believe you. Kingsley is actually two years younger than I and homeschooled. We practically grew up together. And although he may be a bit socially awkward... Hello. My name is, uh... Kingsley. He's really smart. Ridiculously smart. Whoa, what's that? An experiment I'm working on? What a <laughs> Don't touch that! And that, another one of your experiments? Uh, yeah. Plus, we're both big fans of comics, and he has a big collection he would occasionally let me borrow. I'm sure we can't do this without Kingsley. All right. As I was saying, I'm really glad you're here. I have something very important that I need your help with. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but my father, he had these supernatural abilities and my mom said I didn't inherit them, but we were hoping- He was hoping. I was hoping that you could help me find out if I do have any abilities. As I said, I know this sounds- Okay. Huh? I believe you. Well, that was easy. Alright, first things first. Did you notice anything weird throughout your childhood? Something that might give us something to start from. Uh, so I was thinking about what you said earlier and... Patrick, stop biting your brother! One of us gonna get hurt! No, Barbara, I'm not talking to you. Yes, Barbara, I know you wouldn't do such a thing. Sorry, you were saying? 
Did you notice anything uh, unusual during my childhood? What? No, you were a normal kid. Are you sure? Patrick, put the kitchen knife down! I'm sure. Are you really, though? Because you didn't sound very convinced. We're going to have to start from scratch. All right, first up, telepathy. Wolf. You know, when you said we were going to try flying, I didn't think it'd be at this height. Like, maybe we could start small and work up. I'm not jumping from up here. God damn it, Frank! What? How are we supposed to know if you really have powers if we don't put you in a life threatening situation? Oh my god, you've got to actually translate the point. <laughs> what? <laughs> Stop staring at me and talk with Yeah, well, what do you want us to look at? I don't know, not me. This isn't any better. Wait! I think it moved! What? No, it didn't. Alright, you certainly can. You can do this. Well, we've tried everything. Well, I think we should throw Bradley off the bleachers again, just to double-check that flying thing. I know this must be disappointing for you, and you wish this wasn't the case, but it is, and I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to live a normal life. You're gonna grow up, pay taxes, be in debt for half your life, have three kids. I'm sorry, guys. This was a massive waste of time. Ugh, I really thought I could just... A wave of my hand... <laughs>